Imagine this. You have been in a wheelchair pretty much your whole life because your legs, they didn't work right when you were born. You've been to many doctors and they all say there is no way that you'll ever be able to walk. Super sad for sure. But then one day you start feeling something that you've never felt before. It's your feet. You can feel your feet. And then suddenly you get this crazy idea. You slowly use your hands to help you get one foot out of the footrest and place it on the floor. And then the other foot. And then you start to feel something different in your legs. And so you slowly use your hands and arms to carefully lift your body out of the seat. You gently begin to put some weight on your feet. Whoa, you can feel it. You keep going and in only a few more moments, you are standing straight up. What? You've never been able to stand without help from someone holding you up. And then you get another crazy idea. Without using your hands this time, you test out one foot and then another. It's like you've always been able to do this. You're excitedly call for your family who come running and they can't believe it. Later, you visit the doctors again. They run a lot of tests, but they can't figure out how this happened. In their minds, there is no reason you should be able to walk, but in your heart, you know it was a miracle. Do you think that story I just described could ever happen? Do you think it's possible? It absolutely could happen because the Lamb of God heals. Jesus is all powerful. He can do anything, and that includes miracles. But what is a miracle? A miracle is when God does something extraordinary that we can't explain. And while Jesus was on earth, he performed many miracles. Watch this example of what it might have looked like when Jesus healed a man who had a terrible disease. It's a leper. Stay back. Cover your mouth. Don't breathe his air. Don't come any closer. It's okay, John. Rabbi, 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 you Rabbi, cannot, Rabbi, this disease, you Please. Please. Please don't turn away from me. I won't. Lord. If you are willing, you can make me clean. Only if you want to, I submit to you. My sister, she was a servant at the wedding. She told me what you could do. I know you can heal me if you are willing. Thank you. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That clip from the Chosen TV show is based on Matthew 8 in the Bible. A man came to Jesus with a very contagious disease, so people would have been afraid to be around him. But the man had faith that Jesus could heal him, and so he came to Jesus. Jesus touched the man, and he was healed. The Lamb of God heals. The very next part of Matthew chapter 8 shows us another time that Jesus miraculously healed someone. Listen to this. 
When Jesus returned to Capernaum, a Roman officer came and pleaded with him, Lord, my young servant lies in bed, paralyzed and in terrible pain. Jesus said, I will come and heal him. But the officer said, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come into my home. Just say the word from where you are and my servant will be healed. Then Jesus said to the Roman officer, go back home because you believed it has happened. And the young servant was healed that same hour. The Roman officer had faith and knew that Jesus could heal his servant. And this time, Jesus didn't even touch the servant. He just said that the boy would be healed and he was. Why? Because the Lamb of God heals. Come on, say that bottom line with me. The Lamb of God heals. Okay, let's take a look at one more example of a time when Jesus healed someone. Jesus of Nazareth! I saw what you did to the leper on the road this morning. My friend has been paralyzed since childhood. He has no hope but you. Please, do for him what you did for the leper. That's a rope! Put it back, man! If you are willing, Rabbi, I know you can do this. authority do you teach? Answer me. If you are willing, Rabbi, you know you can. Hey, I'm talking to you. By whom do you teach? Certainly not the authority of any rabbi from Nazareth. Where did you study? Your faith is beautiful. Son, take heart. Your sins are forgiven. Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Right. But I ask you, which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven or rise up and walk? easy to say anything, no? But to show you, and so that you may know that the Son of Man has the authority on earth to forgive sins. I say to you, my son, rise, pick up your bed, and go home.
Wow, that's amazing. The man's friends had faith, and they believed that Jesus could heal their friend. Jesus did heal the paralyzed man, and he walked. Did it really look exactly like what we just watched? Maybe not. But the truth is, the Lamb of God heals, and Jesus healed so many more people. People need healing in many different ways. And because Jesus loves us so much, one of the ways he shows us that is by healing us. When Jesus heals us, it's an act of compassion. And Jesus' healing in our lives can also be a great tool to show others how amazing and powerful he is. You see, Jesus is God, which means he has all the same unlimited power as God. And I tell you, Jesus' healing is amazing and miraculous. But he can give us healing in more important ways than just our sickness, injuries, and diseases. Check out something that the prophet Isaiah wrote. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. Isaiah 53, 5. Do you guys know who Isaiah was talking about here? He was talking about Jesus. After Jesus was arrested for crimes he did not do, he was beaten, whipped, nailed to a cross, and had his side pierced with a spear. Could Jesus have stopped the people from being cruel to him and healed himself? Yes. But why did Jesus allow so many terrible things to happen to him when he has the power to stop it and fix it? Look again at that verse from Isaiah. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. Jesus allowed all of those terrible things to happen to him so we could have healing. And in this case, I'm not talking about physical healing for our bodies or minds. We all have a problem, a sin problem. It's like a really bad disease that everyone has. We all make bad choices that disobey God, and that is sin. If you were with us last time, you might remember that Jesus came to the world to save sinners. That's us. Our memory verse reminds us about this. The next day, he saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John 1.29 When Jesus died on the cross and came back to life, he made a way for us to be forgiven of the consequences of our sin and have a kind of spiritual healing, a healing that makes it possible for our broken relationship with God to be fixed and made better. You see, Jesus loves us. He has compassion on us. He sees us in our struggles. He knows we mess up and he loves us so much that he wants to help us. So Jesus paid the price for our sin and made a way for us to be forgiven and be made right with God. And that is just another way that the Lamb of God heals. Go ahead and say that bottom line with me. The Lamb of God heals. Man, all this talk about healing gets me pumped up because there are so many people who need physical and spiritual healing. Maybe you are the one who needs that today, or maybe it's someone that you know. Remember, the Lamb of God heals. If you know someone who needs healing, believe that God can heal them and pray in the name of Jesus that that person will be healed. If it's a part of God's plan, then that person will be healed. Prayer is powerful, and Jesus' healing is real. All right, bye guys.